Hello student, in the last session we have seen the entity architecture and structural design of offered in architecture. So in this class, in this session you will see how to implement offered by using simulation tool in VHDL language. So for that I will use software tool that is called as Xilinx. Once you install Xilinx, depending on the version, you will get the icon on your desktop. Here you can see see this icon. So when you tap on this icon, it will open project navigator. It will open a window, Project Navigator. So once it opens Project Navigator, on the left top corner, there's a there's an option File. Click on the option File. You can see sub option. In sub option, click on New Project. So it pops up new project wizard where you have to give project name. There is a certain restriction uh, to give the project name. You can give you can give any character except the special character. You can use alphanumeric characters, lower case and upper case. Except the special character, other characters you can use. So here I will type. H A L F of adder A D E R underscore two. So as I said, you cannot use any special character except underscore. So now here you can set the directory for your project. So uh, depending on the different drive, different depending on the drive, you can set the directory for your project by navigating the directory structure. Other than that, uh, here there is a option for hardware uh, to select uh, either schematic or uh, hardware description language. I will select the hardware description language, then uh, click on next. Once you click on next, uh, the project wizard gives the device properties. Uh, this gives the properties about uh, FPGA, which I am going to use. Uh, in the off adder. So FPGA which I am going to use in the off adder is uh, belongs to Spartan 3, Spartan 3, Spartan 3 group. So other than that uh, or Spartan 3 family, other than that uh, if you click on device uh, button, there is a dro drop down menu. So in the drop down menu you select uh, XC3S250E and similarly package you have to select FT256 or CP132 depending on the manufacturer description. Other than that I will select the language VHDL in which I am going to write the program then click on next next so finally it gives the information about project and FAJ specifications so click on finish once you click on finish it will pop up new window here on the left corner left top corner you can see the FPGA package is created for my design above that you can see the project name for my design so now I have to program my FPGA so for that I will click on my project name I will right click on my project name when you right click on my project name uh, project, uh, your project name you will get the option new source 
click on new source when you click on new source it will pop up various options of programming our pack, uh, this is a pga package so this time you select vhdl module or uh, we are going to prog program by using vhdl model and uh, you can give the file name there is a restriction as i said uh, earlier file name can be same as a project name so let me give half adder underscore 2 and click on next so here I will define my entity so the input for the half adder is I will take the input for the half adder a and a and b and output is a sum and a carry output is sum and carry so here in direction uh, drop down menu select output output because sum and carry is output a and b are in port input port so click on next and finish now the entity is created for the half adder you can see here you can see here the entity entity file is entity is created for the half adder let me click on this let me click on this one you can see there are so many code as pre-written by the software in that first one is the library in that first one is the library so here you can see the library used is uh, i -E dot std underscore logic underscore 1164 dot all which contains uh, all these libraries contains a necessary function uh, to implement uh, the whatever code I have written here then entity declaration uh, you can see here entity declaration entity and uh, port are the keyword for the software which is in blue color half adder is the user defined word which is given by me so entity half adder so here you can see the entity followed by half adder underscore 2 is port with the in the circle bracket a and b are the input port of uh, type standard logic of type standard uh, of type data type standard logic similarly sum and carry are the output port of type uh, standard logic that means uh, all these are defined in uh, uh, standard logic library followed with the end entity with the entity name now let's move to the architectural part so in the architectural part we need to write the statement for our design so here you can see pre written statement for architecture with the architectural name that is the behavior of entity of adder underscore 2 is begin and end with the architecture name so now we have to write our statement between begin and end now the design part of a half header is written in architectural declaration you can see here so as i said architecture with the architecture name of entity the entity which we use in this design is half header underscore 2 is begin with the sum and assignment statement for sum and carry that is sum is assigned with the assignment operator this is the assignment operator a x or b carry is assigned with the assignment operator a and with the b followed by end statement with the architecture name 
here students you have to remember all the statement should end with the semicolon and here this all these statements should be written after the statement of begin or after the keyword of a begin so once we write, once we complete the writing of code then we will synthesize our code synthesize is the process of converting the code into our, into hardware so we normally write the program in a vhdl language here so vhdl language after the once we write the program in vhdl language we will pass the program into a compiler compiler is a tool which understands the vhdl a compiler is a uh, software which understands the uh, VHDL program. Output of the compiler is fed to synthesis tool. Uh, synthesis tool is a smart tool uh, which analyzes the VHDL code and uh, provide the hardware design for that code. So now here you can see, we will click on, on left side bottom corner, we have synthesize XST option is there, we will click on that option. When you click on that option, it will ask for to save the program. So, once you get uh, a green tick on the synthesis XST, that means uh, we have written the code complete uh, uh, with the proper syntax uh, and uh, hardware can be designed from the code. Now, you can view the schematic of our hardware by clicking on RTL. Here you can see this is the schematic of our hardware which contains uh, two input A and B and carry and uh, sum is the output. As I said uh, you can view the circuit design of our code what we have written in VHD language uh, by using view RTL schematic. Uh, so when you click on view RTL schematic. Uh, we will find the circuit design. This is the circuit design of our code. Here you can see the circuit design. We have two input A and B. So the input A and B and uh, sum and carry is the output uh, we have defined in the entity. So in the architecture we have one is, one is exclusive OR gate, other one is AND gate, output of the AND gate is carry and output of exclusive OR gate is nothing but uh, sum. Suppose if we do mistake in writing code like missing semicolon and uh, we try to we try to synthesize this one then this shows uh, error. You can see a uh, red mark. Uh, this shows the error that saying that code is not proper. So it says uh, the process in this is failed. And you can see here uh, this line shows the error that line 39 unexpected identifier expecting semicolon. So if you click on this. Uh, it will take you to, to that line where semicolon is missing and suppose if I put semicolon here now and if I try to synthesis once again uh, by right clicking and click on rerun then 
then i will get a green check che tick mark saying that uh, the code is uh, code is written properly with the all semantics uh, and it is ready to uh, ready for uh, hardware design now next we will move to the test bench test bench is the process of uh, simulating the code what we have written so for that uh, we will go to our entity so right click on the entity and right click the option new source and here you have to select uh, test bench waveform not vhdl module you have to select this time test bench waveform and file name can be same or it can be different also but we will give the same file name half adder followed by underscore tb tb indicates uh, it is the it is uh, it is the it is test bench uh, the file name belongs to test bench then uh, click on next so here you have to do certain settings since our uh, half adder is a combination circuit you have to select the combination circuit there are the different options are there single clock option and multiple clock option but uh, it is a combination circuit uh, so click uh, select uh, combination circuit after that you can select here uh, length of the test bench uh, and uh, uh, initial settings uh, let it be default one click on finish when you click on finish uh, you will get uh, this window where you have to give the input to stimulate our code so input as we know the input for the half adder is a and b which will take a combination uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and uh, 1 1 let's now give 0 0 0 1 one zero one one so let me take from year to year that is hundred to two hundred zero zero then two hundred to three hundred zero one let zero 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 one one zero 1100 so a and b are the input uh, which will take value 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 we should know you need not to give sum and carry sum and carry should be processed by the software once we complete uh, giving input uh, to the to stimulate simulation uh, then let's save the project uh, Once you save the project, you will see here whatever input you have given under this package. Select that select that uh, particular file tbw with tbw. Select the option here uh, behavioral simulation. Then go to process click on simulator simulator behavioral model click on and run now here you will see three windows one is the code what we have written second one is the 
what is the uh, uh, the input what we have given to stimulate our simulation uh, third one is the simulation uh, output uh, so other than that uh, here you can see the st uh, simulated output uh, so here you can see let me minimize this window for time being here you can see between 100 to 200 time length our input a and b is 0 0 output sum is 0 and carry is also 0 between 0, uh, 200 to 300 uh, we have given a 0 1 combination a is 0 b is 1 output is uh, sum is 1 uh, and carry is 0 between 300 to 400 uh, time length uh, 0 0 1 0 that is 0 0 a 0 b 0 a 0 b is 1 a is 1 b is 0 a is 1 b is 1 that is when a is 0, 1 b is 0 we will get uh, like sum is 1 and carry is 0 and when uh, both are 1 sum is 0 and uh, carry is 1 this is the simulated output uh, what we get uh, for our uh, package uh, design. So, in this way, we can implement uh, half header by using uh, Xilinx uh, software. Thank you.